Yes. So this is a 150 liter pressurized buffer tank. We use it as a backup water supply for a house by connecting it into the main water supply with a few valves and a non-return. So the, what we've got set up here, it looks quite complicated, but we have our incoming water coming in. And here we've got a valve to shut off the supply to the tank and a valve to bypass the whole system to the house and a valve for the other side of the tank. And here we have a non-return valve, which basically allows us to let water come in through the non-return so it doesn't push back if you lose, a, lose your water supply. Then to the tank, the tank has a, a bladder inside that pushes the water back out using air pressure. And then, say, if you have a water failure now, the, this valve is open to the house. This is closed going back to the feed water. And here the non-return valve stops the water going back. So if we lose water, we take water from the tank through to the house and we basically have an uninterrupted supply. One important thing when installing these is that we have the, the pressure regulator after the non-return valve, because if the geyser gets hot, this pressure regulator needs to be able to release the pressure coming from the geyser. So if you have it before the non-return, you might um, end up bursting your geyser, or at least bursting the, the one-off um, safety valve on the geyser. So, so this is important that it's off to it. And um, yeah, let's have a look at what you can actually store in one of these tanks. To test, we just close our incoming water. Now there's no water coming from the main supply. And let's go fill a bathtub and see how much water we've got stored in here. Okay, so this is what we actually ended up getting out of the, the backup water tank. As you can see, it's actually crazy amount of water. We almost got 20 centimeters um, of water filled into the bathtub out of the 150 liter tank. So overall, this is a great setup for a backup water if you just have intermittent um, water supply. And um, the only thing we would do differently and recommend with this is to rather build the whole valve assembly out of PVC fittings than the um, than the copper connection ones we used because they were a mission to get get sealed and if you jiggle anything around it starts leaving again. But as you can see, this is a hell of a lot of water to have as just a backup for if the water is just going off for a few hours.